But first up, there are comic book superheroes with all sorts of fantastic powers. X-ray vision, the ability to read minds. The next man I want Daniel to meet claims to have the power of telekinesis and can move and bend objects using only the power of his mind. Out of all the superhumans I've investigated, this next man claims to have a power that just seems impossible. Telekinesis is basically the ability to move objects without the use of a touch. Guy Bovely says he has the power to warp, distort, and move objects with simply the power of his mind. The mind is more powerful than what you think, so you have to believe in yourself. If you believe, you can reach and grab it. I want to find out if his claims are real and see if he really fits into Stan's superhuman league. I'm meeting Guy at a diner in downtown L.A. I hope there's more to him than spoon bending. Tales of telekinesis go as far back as a legendary magician Merlin, using just the power of his mind to move the massive boulders at Stonehenge. Could these legends have some base in reality? I've actually heard you have telekinetic powers. Is that true? Well, that's what I'm here for, right? <laughs> so Figure it out. <laughs> so, so tell me about it. When did you discover you had these powers? Um, I always wanted to do things that other people cannot. And slowly but surely, I started to practice all kind of uh, telekinesis or other forms of movement, mind power, uh, etc. So what kind of things can you do with telekinesis? For, for, for example, a spoon, just okay. a, a regular spoon. Now watch this. Put, put your hand on top, just like that, okay? Mm -hmm. And just, you know, by touching, it's just moving your hand, you create an energy, and then it starts to move like that, you see? <laughs> just like that. So what's going on? There's no <laughs> wires wrapped around this? How's, How's that? All right, you're stumping me here. You're stumping me. What did I just see? Uh, what you saw was uh, a form of, of telekinesis, or what other people perceive as a telekinesis. You take all the senses that you have, you put them together in the right way, and you can create the six, maybe even the seventh sense. You're saying that the sixth sense is a combination of everything we do. My personal opinion, yes. But it's just so hard for me to believe what's happening. Let me see him. I want to see him first. Pour your hand into him. Do you know him? Are you guys buddies or something? Did you see it? Just look, touch it. Touch, touch, touch. The reason why I'm having such a hard time believing what I'm saying is because, I mean, this has always been in the realm of, like, a magician or something, you know? I have to think that this is trickery. Guy's ability is certainly baffling. It's time to play things by my rules. So I'm taking him to a hardware store he's never seen before. And I will choose the objects myself. Well, so now we're on my turf, so I really want to find where your capabilities lie. Right, so this is spoon-like. It's made out of metal. It's got some straight edges, a little bend to it. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's see what you can do with this. Uh, I don't know. Is that it? Let's check. Although that was amazing, and it seemed from my eyes that you made the object moving without touching it, you were still moving your hands. Sure. I've only seen Guy use metal objects so far. I want him to prove he's not using magnets. How much convincing would you want to be? <laughs> right, you got to convince me somehow. Watch this. Watch this. Okay. Uh, paint. Okay. Uh, paint star. Worked, yeah. yeah. 
Okay. Put it here. Just balance it. See, now, I think, yeah, it's kind of a balanced. Okay. Okay. All right, well, see, that was different than all the other stuff because you were pushing it, your other hand was gone. The paint stirred definitely wasn't metal, which cancels out any idea of magnetism. I have no idea what's going on, so I need to explore every avenue available. Okay. I've seen spoon benders before, but Guy says he does it for real. Magicians supposedly use heat to do it, so I want him to bend a key while I monitor heat levels with an infrared camera. Okay, I'm focused. There's no unusual heat, but the key is already starting to bend. Focus now on that area. Are you able to hold the camera and give me one hand? And, and still... If yeah. we keep the key in the exact same position, like you this? can't be moving the key around because I can't focus. Okay, like this? Yes. Okay. Can you close your hand? And I'll try to put the heat through my hand. There's still nothing out of the ordinary on the infrared camera. Tell me if you feel something. I feel your hands touching me. Slowly but surely, I hope. Okay. Take your hand. Okay. Okay. So you put this in my hand. All right, I am confused. I've watched Guy closely, and it's clear there aren't any strings or abnormal heat. So I found no evidence of trickery. I'm at a loss. I have no idea where to go with this. This is not possible. Now I want to find out what's going on inside your mind when you do these. I need some scientific proof of what you're doing is real. Okay. I'm taking Guy to a neuropsychologist who will look at his inner brain workings and find out if he's truly superhuman. Something that is actually scary, bizarre, which I've never seen in people. This machine doesn't lie. In the Cold War, telekinesis was investigated when a Russian woman used her mind to move objects. No answers were found. But I'm here to investigate Guy Bovley's claim to possess this power. I've already seen him move objects and bend metal. I've scrutinized how he does it, but still found nothing. This is not possible. Now, to look deep into the inner workings of his brains, I brought Guy to meet neuropsychologist Bill Scott. Whenever our neurons are firing, they create a, a signal that are detectable on the surface of the scalp. Bill will measure the brain activity with an EEG, an advanced piece of equipment that will amplify electrical frequencies released from Guy's brain. I'm curious about guys to see what might be happening from a baseline condition of him not doing anything to when he's performing his skill. Every state that we experience, there's brain waves that are involved in them. A state of telekinesis is one that we've actually not, I've personally not looked at before. Sounds like an open brain surgery to me. <laughs> yeah, without the knives. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Before it's connecting definitely. Guy up for the final test, I want him to show Bill what he can do and see if he can see something I've missed. Put both of your hands just like that. Now tell me the truth, and Bill, you can see here. Your job is to count how many times you felt or you feel that I touch you. Close your eyes. Okay, close. close your eyes. Excellent. And you're gonna watch here, Bill. Yeah. Okay, it's very important. Now I'm gonna touch your hand a few times and just count with your heart how many times you feel that I'm touching you. It's very important that you, exactly, just how many times you feel touch exactly one here one there and that's about uh, it yeah I think so yeah okay. open your eyes okay Danny tell me the truth how many times you felt that I touched your hand six times Six times. Yes. Uh, it didn't appear to at all, actually. Uh, I never touched you. In numbers. Yeah, I'd say zero. Zero. Never touched you. So what's going on here? Uh, you felt it. Mm-hmm. 
He didn't see it. No. He was here. Right. 100%. Yeah, yeah. Like, was he... Moving your hands back and forth like this? Yeah. Like, like that. th that's what was happening? Yeah. Just like that. Is this exactly what happened? That was exactly it, yeah. Is it, I mean, I honestly felt it. Yeah. I really felt it. Yeah. Were you impressed by the demonstration? Oh, it was amazing. Yeah, it was absolutely amazing. I've never seen anything like it. I'd like to see him actually move something uh, with his mind. I've seen Guy move many different objects. Please close your eyes. Okay. Okay, close your eyes. And he's demonstrated his ability several times to the doctor. I felt two touches right here. Wow. That's incredible. He touched me with it in my nose, and you apparently felt it. Okay, and there was nothing in front of my face? No, he never even got close to you. If he really does use his mind, he's surely superhuman. But we haven't looked under scientific testing. Will the EEG machine show anything superhuman in guys' brain frequencies? Basically, I'll do any kind of movement with it whatsoever. <laughs> All right, no wires are attached. No, no. Well, see, I, I, what you did is so unbelievable, I can't believe it myself. Like, I saw it right in front of my eyes, and it's just unexplainable. You're a scientist. I mean, how can you explain what just happened? Um, it, I really can't. Guy's brain activity when he's doing nothing is completely normal. But Bill measured Guy's brain gamma waves during the pin move and found some astounding results. Something that is actually scary, bizarre, which I've never seen in people. The point that the pen first moved, he had this very large burst of gamma activity. So he really is actually doing something odd with his brain. The gamma waves could be the answer to Guy's powers. Absolutely. That is about over twice as high as someone would have if they were having a seizure. Well, see, that, that, that's amazing because the peak isn't just anywhere. It's at the exact moment that the pin moved. I've never seen anything like it. Do you believe you just saw telekinesis? Are you a believer? Uh, yeah, I don't. I could not explain that. I wasn't sure then. I was still skeptical. But when your hands were back and the entire thing flipped in, I'm sold. The data suggests that Guy Bubbly does possess some kind of power, but sometimes we just cannot explain what we see.